If you use Pro Tools on Windows and you're not using an audio device, I'm sure you know about ASIO for all, but there is another option out there and it's the FL Studio ASIO driver. And I find in many cases, it just works better than ASIO for all. It's much easier to set up for most people than ASIO for all as well. So here we are in Pro Tools, set up, playback engine. And right there you can see our playback engine is indeed the FL Studio ASIO. Now you do not need to actually use FL Studio or even have it open to use the ASIO driver from FL Studio, all right? And whenever we use the FL Studio ASIO driver, that means we don't have to have an audio interface connected. So that's really great for laptops or things like a Surface or something whenever you're mobile and you don't have an audio interface connected and maybe ASIO for all is not working well for you. So to get it, by the way, all you need to do is come to ImageLine and download FL Studio, download the trial, install it, and you will get the ASIO driver. You don't even have to use FL Studio if you don't want, but you will have the, uh, the driver and that's all you need. And that driver will continue to work even after the uh, trial's up. All right, so what can we do with it? Well, since the FL Studio ASIO driver is going to use our computer audio interface, meaning the headphone output on your computer, or usually the lime green output that you have your computer speakers hooked up to on your computer. So if I hit there, that's coming from my computer speakers. Play here. All of that's coming from my computer speakers. Don't believe me? Turn it down. Pull it up. So we can still use Pro Tools. We can still edit. We can still uh, do MIDI. Now, inputting, you may not want to input recording external things like microphones, guitars, so on and so forth, just because one, you don't have an audio interface. There's really no way to plug a guitar into a computer unless you have some sort of USB adapter, of course, or something. But that's what an audio interface is for. The reason I'm mentioning this is because I know there's a lot of people who just want to play, who just want to mix, who just want to maybe record MIDI and not actually record vocals or record a guitar, and record microphones. We have contact here. I can, I can record MIDI if I want here with this driver. So I'll just press some keys on my keyboard here once recording starts. Okay, there we go. We recorded MIDI. Obviously, if you are using a laptop or something and you don't have a lot of peripherals with you, you could of course just draw in your notes. So you can still work on your MIDI, so you can still work on your songs with your audio interface uh, that is included you know, with your computer, not, not with another ASIO interface. Of course, play all that back. All right, so this driver I find is more stable than ASIO for all. It's also much, much easier to use, especially for beginners. So if we come to hardware here, we can see we have FL Studio ASIO, launch the setup app, and here is the setup app. This is it, okay? Now usually this is going to be on default input. Right now I have a Zoom H1 connected to show you recording from a USB microphone, which we'll do here in a minute. But usually it will be on default input, which would be the microphone input on usually the front of your computer, the 3.5 millimeter input, but depending on the sound card you have, this will be different, okay? So that's all there is to it. There's not a bunch of stuff you have to go through like you do with ASIO for all. This is basically just, again, once you have FL Studio installed, it will install the FL ASIO driver, come to playback engine here, and simply choose it for your playback engine. You'll probably have to restart Pro Tools, open it back up, and you're good to go. So here we have more. So we can, of course, mix, again, all of this coming from our computer speakers. You can see Realtek high definition audio there. All right. So we can mix. Okay. Maybe we want to edit this. We'll cut that part out. Right. Maybe I want to duplicate this part across that whole section. No problem doing all of this without an audio interface connected. Just using the FL Studio ASIO driver. All of the audio coming from uh, our computer. So this audio would be coming obviously from your, say, laptop speakers, or preferably you would at least have some 
you know, some headphones plugged in there. And of course, we can still use all of our, you know, all of our plugins and mix and master and do whatever you want. Okay. The idea for this driver, at least in my opinion, is not for live input. It's not for input of microphones. It's not for input of guitar. It's not for input of, of anything external. That's sort of the point of a good, high quality audio interface. You know, I have a complete six here. I have an 11 rack here. If I wanted to input something, I would, you know, I would, I would use those. And I would definitely suggest you get an audio interface if you are recording external things. If instead you're just using MIDI or you're using loops or you're, you're programming, you're mixing things like that, then the FL Studio ASAO driver will be uh, more than uh, more than good for you. However, I do want to mention that right now, once again, let's come up here to hardware. We'll launch this setup app, and here we can choose our input. So right now, I have a, a Zoom H1 connected via USB just to simulate a USB connected microphone. So if you have a USB connected microphone that you're having trouble actually recording into Pro Tools. This is a way you can do it by using the FL Studio ASIO driver. Really easy. Uh, what you'll do is it will be on default input at first. What you'll have to do for Pro Tools, anyway, is select your USB microphone, click OK. You'll have to restart Pro Tools, open it back up, and then you will get those inputs. Again, the default inputs will be the microphone, the you know the the eighth inch input that you have on your uh, on your laptop or your Surface or your or your computer but you can use a USB microphone this way. So to show that, come here, obviously input one, and if I monitor it, check one, two, I don't have the input very loud because I don't want it to feed back because it's coming through my, it's coming through my uh, computer speakers, of course. So let's just solo this here. Let me take these off and we'll record just to show you that you can record from a USB microphone directly into Pro Tools using the ASIO uh, the FL Studio ASIO driver. So this is the FL Studio ASIO driver, and it records just fine. Okay, a little bit of feedback there, but that's to be expected again because uh, we have our, you know, I have my computer speakers on here. But there you go, you can record audio through a, another USB microphone or even like a USB guitar input, for example. You know, so this is this is great if you have maybe like a a microphone from Blue or even Rode that is USB and you want to record in Pro Tools. Well, try the FL Studio ASIO driver. But the next thing is, believe it or not, look at this. I have FL Studio open and I've had it open the whole time. Now you don't have to have FL Studio open. I want to make that clear, but I have had it open the whole time. And you know, for Pro Tools user, this might blow your mind. Options, audio settings, look at this. We're using the same exact driver. That's right. I'm using two different clients. This is not rewired into Pro Tools, by the way. This is on its own using FL Studio ASIO same exact driver we're using in Pro Tools, same exact one. We can click on it and see. You can see that right there, same exact driver, two different clients. And yes, we can hear playback through this as well. I will also mention one last thing. In the ASIO panel here, whenever you are using FL Studio, you can change this on the fly and it will change without having to restart. That's also the same in some other DAWs, but we all know the Pro Tools usually takes a little more, you know, a few more steps. But just to show this here, now I have FL Studio 20 installed. And this is just the default song uh, that comes with it. So again, all the audio coming from our computer. Right? Now, I already know what you're thinking. Can I play back both of these at the same exact time? I can't actually. <laughs> but before we do that, let me make sure I turn down a master here some. On this, we'll play back in FL Studio. And we'll play back in Pro Tools at the same time. Which I should... There you go. So we're playing back in both apps at the same time using the same exact driver. So that is why I suggest you get the FL Studio ASIO driver. It's much, much easier, much simpler to use for most people. And it just works so well. Again, look at that. It's very easy to use. Basically, just install it and you are uh, you're ready to go. You can download the FL Studio trial and that will install the FL Studio ASIO. We can also, of course, change the buffer right from within uh, Pro Tools here without having to open that app. All right. So once again, just head over to 
image line and you can download your trial of FL Studio and get that FL Studio ASIO driver and use it right here in Pro Tools so you can hear the playback of Pro Tools through your computer speakers or your computer headphones, all without an ASIO audio interface. And you can still mix, you can still master, you can still do MIDI, you can still use your plugins, so on and so forth, just by using this awesome stable driver.